Hi there, this is day four of the VPL, and I'm just going to make this a really short video, kind of um, detailing how the peel went last night and then early today. Um, I think I did a short recording last night of when it started to peel, mostly around the mouth and the nose area, and um, a lot of it later that evening pretty much started to peel off. Um, when you move your face around, Kind of like that, it actually starts to all crackle around that. And I, I do have some pictures that I'm going to insert into probably the day three videos. But a lot of that peeling happened um, last night, and it's mostly in this area. And in my personal opinion, that's actually the kind of creepiest looking peeling. When I say creepy, it just looks a little bit strange. It looks kind of scaly, and, and that peeling around here looks even more strange because when you're talking it's just kind of like they're the, the peeling parts are kind of moving around so it's kind of like a little freaky um, so most of that happened around close to bedtime and when I took a shower before I went to sleep I washed with the gentle cleanser and you could sort of feel um, when you're washing the slouthing off of the skin because when you rub your skin when you, you're washing it's kind of like the skin is coming off and it's sort of balling up um, on your face and you can kind of feel it roll off. So a lot of that came off in the shower and some came off overnight. And then this morning th there was still some peeling left over and um, I actually decided to venture out today. So in the afternoon I went ahead and I washed my face and again when I was washing um, I was just kind of rubbing uh, gently with my fingers. So I didn't really um, scrub a whole lot at all. It's just more like rubbing. And, and every time you wash your face, you can kind of feel it um, rolling up, the skin kind of rolling up and just, you know, coming off. It's an interesting feeling. So I, I pretty much got most of it. So this is almost, you know, mid to late day four. And, um,. Most of the peeling's gone, I'm sure almost all of it, if not, you know, like maybe five, ten percent of the peeling will be left tomorrow morning, which I'm sure will wash off in the morning. Um, so I just want to get a little bit of close up here. Now, in terms of the marks that I was trying to get to peel. Um, some of the brown ones definitely come off. I know when I was talking to my dermatologist about some of the red marks here, uh, they did, some of them lightened up, but um, with time, I guess if I were trying to be, trying to hurry the process along, the red marks um, would need laser removal, so I, I don't really think at this point in time I'm going to look into that as of now. But um, the texture of my skin feels really soft. And in terms of like for um, you know, acne treatment too, I do have a blemish here and one here and here. And just like last time, I actually had some pretty big blemishes the first time I got them done. They, the peel kind of shrinks them. And to put a video up right after I'm um, completely done peeling is just not really a fair assessment of what the peel does because your skin, in my opinion, continues to improve even a week or two weeks after the peel because in some cases I might break out a little bit and my skin might not look as great right afterwards, but I know that um, you know it just continues to improve in addition to that, that the texture is softer. And for those of you who are on any type of strong topical acne treatment, that um, it causes your skin to get really, well for me it did, unbearably dry, just painfully dry, um, almost leathery, and when I would put the topical treatments on my skin I just felt like it sat on top. And after I got my first peel, the texture was just completely soft, it was baby soft, and I felt like my skin really absorbed uh, the products well because before when I applied the products I felt like it just sat on my skin. Now when you when I rub it in you know over here I just feel like it really absorbs into my skin 
a lot better and as well I just felt like after the peel um, my skin also just makeup sat on my face so much better so um, I'm really excited and like I said it's just it's not as bad at all the peel wasn't as bad at all uh, for me and um, tomorrow will be day five we should be done and I'm sure like I said, I don't really know if I'm going to do another video after that until maybe like a couple days after. And I'm going to continue to, um, you can use your products, your regular skin products, right after you're done peeling. So probably tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'll be able to continue use of my other products that I normally use instead of trying to use the Cetaphil and what have you, even though I, st I was using the, my own sunscreen and my own moisturizer, but I'm going to go back to the Obagi products. Those I, I stayed off while I was peeling. But, alright, thanks for watching.